eight of the most touching NHL moments ever. Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to History Hub. Hockey is full of wonderfully happy moments. Whether it's a team finally winning their league championship for the first time in franchise history, to a player having his jersey number retired after years of service to an organization, to the first time skates are laced, the amount of occurrences that bring joy to players and fans alike is vast. Unfortunately, just as in life, there have been many times where the game has been dampened by sadness. Sometimes it takes the form of a player dying at a young age, when she or he is just starting to develop a career. Here are the eight most touching NHL moments. <laughs> Number 1. Bruins fans give O Canada a standing O. The Montreal Canadiens and Boston Bruins have one of the most bitter rivalries in sports, and the hatred came to a head when the two teams faced off in the 2004 Eastern Conference quarterfinals. Before Game 3 of the series in Montreal, the traditional singing of the Star Spangled Banner was met with boos from much of the crowd. A blatantly disrespectful gesture, no matter what your feelings on the war in Iraq may have been at the time. Luckily, the Boston Bruins fans were on the scene in Game 5 to show how truly classy most hockey fans are. Not only did the fans largely avoid retaliatory boos, the next time the teams met, but the vast majority gave an ovation to the anthem of their neighbors to the north. In the world of sports, it is easy for one passionate fan base to get into a sort of shouting match with another. The Boston faithful went above and beyond to show their class in this emotional pregame moment. Number 2. Jeremy Roenick after the Blackhawks 2010 Stanley Cup win. Roenick was drafted by Chicago 8th overall in the 1988 NHL draft and played 7 seasons for them before moving on to the Phoenix Coyotes. The furthest he got with the Hawks was the Stanley Cup final in 1992, where they were swept by Mario Lemieux-led Pittsburgh Penguins. When the Hawks won in 2010, it ended a 49-year drought since their last win in 1961. Roenick, who had retired as a member of the San Jose Sharks a year earlier, was now a commentator on the NHL Network and was reduced to tears as the cup was being celebrated on the ice. I didn't get to do that. It's pretty unbelievable. Number 3. Ace Bailey and Eddie Shore Shake Hands This golden moment in sportsmanship takes us all the way back to the 1933-34 and 34 season, when Toronto's Ace Bailey put a big hit on Red Horner of the Boston Bruins. Taking exception to the hit, Boston's Eddie Shore took exception to the hit and sent Bailey to the ice with a cheap shot of his own. Unfortunately, Bailey's head hit the ice, fracturing his skull. The Leaf star would be taken to the hospital, and there was speculation that the injury could take his life. Thankfully, Bailey survived, but he would never play hockey again. Two months later, an All-Star game was held at Maple Leaf Gardens to raise money for Bailey, and Shore attended. The two players embraced and shook hands at center ice, as an iconic player forgave his attacker a tribute to the spirit of competition. Number 4. Eric Lindros' Heart Trophy Acceptance Speech Four years after he was selected first overall by the Quebec Nordiques against his wishes, Eric Lindros totaled 29 goals and 70 points in 46 games for the Philadelphia Flyers for his first and only Heart Trophy as league. MVP. But although he had some great years left in him, including a follow-up 115-point campaign, concussion issues interfered with Lindros' great career. In his acceptance speech, Lindros thanked everyone from Flyers owner Ed Snyder, GM Bobby Clark, coach Terry Murray, his family, and his friends. But after almost being cut off by the music, Lindros started to thank the fans of the Philadelphia Flyers, and that's when he lost it. And in closing, I'd just like to say thank you to the fans of Philadelphia who supported us when we weren't so good. We're getting better and we're going to do it. Number 5. I promised mess I wouldn't do this. This is far and away the most famous NHL crying moment, and it relates to the most famous trade in the league history too. Wayne Gretzky had been traded from the Edmonton Oilers to the Los Angeles Kings and was holding a press conference. Gretzky had spent nine NHL seasons with the Oilers, winning four Stanley Cups, eight Hart trophies, seven Art Ross trophies, and two Conn Smiths. It was a trade that shook the hockey world, and Gretzky was moved to tears and uttered the now famous quote, I promised mess I wouldn't do this. I promised mess I wouldn't do this. Number 6, The Waiting Is Over In 1940, the New York Rangers won the Stanley Cup and chose to burn the deed to Madison Square Garden in the bowl of Lord Stanley's prize. They wouldn't get to touch the trophy again for 54 years. The struggles of the team were well documented, and it took the acquisition of hockey's greatest leader to finally break the curse. Mark Messier led the Rangers to the playoffs, guaranteeing victory when down 3-2 in the Eastern Conference Finals and leading the team through the Devils and the Canucks. The moment culminated with a puck drop and the iconic call from Sam Rosen in the Garden. Number 7, Saku Koivu Returns a Hero Saku Koivu was diagnosed with Burkitt's lymphoma a brutal form of cancer just weeks before the start of the 2001 and 2 season. Koivu would not fit the prototype of a typical tough player in the NHL, but the mild-mannered Canadian captain proved himself to be perhaps the gutsiest player in all of hockey. Battling back the harsh illness, which threatened his life in every way that it threatened his career, Koivu ultimately won the fight, and with three games to go in the season, Koivu was given the okay to return to the Canadians, who were fighting for their playoff lives. The scene that followed cannot be put into words. It can only be watched teary-eyed and with reverence. A team with 24 Stanley Cups to its name, the Montreal Canadiens perhaps never heard their fans 
fans louder than they did April 9, 2002. Number 8, Raymond Bork. For the better part of 21 stellar seasons, Ray Bork's mission was to lead the Boston Bruins to the Stanley Cup. For those 21 seasons, Bork was unable to do so. And with the Bruins in a rebuilding phase, as Bork's career wound down, it seemed unlikely that one of hockey's great defensemen would ever kiss Lord Stanley's Cup. Late in the 1990 and 2000 season, Bork was dealt to the Colorado Avalanche, Boston's attempt to give its captain a last shot at the title. The next year, Bork and the Avalanche made an emotional playoff run, culminating in a showdown with the New Jersey Devils. The series went seven games, and as the clock counted down to an Avalanche victory, Bork began to cry on the bench. A brief speech from Gary Bettman and a formal handing over of Captain Joe Sackick later, Bork's career would finally come to a close. Raymond Bork lifted the Stanley Cup. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.